it can be done anywhere. I mean, you don't need a HEPA filter. You don't need a clean room laboratory. You can work on it in your kitchen. I'm gonna be doing videos all about how to use liquid culture. Hey y'all, it's Andrew Reed with Mossy Creek Mushrooms. And uh, I have another update for you guys. Uh, a year ago when I made that video on liquid culture and how to make grain spawn with it, when I said that I didn't think that it was good for commercial ops, really just for home growers, I'm taking that back. I'm retracting it. I think that it's perfect for commercial ops, and I'll tell you why. I have been steadily playing with it throughout the year, off and on, and every time I pick it back up and play with it, work with it, make sure, as long as I do proper testing, and as long as I am able to keep traceability down, this liquid culture thing has turned out to be a cinch, especially with these, these airport lids that I can buy pre-purchased from uh, shroomsupply.com. Ryan's great over there. You can use uh, code MOSSY, M-O-S-S-Y, to get 10% off that order. So don't forget to use that. But uh, these airport lids have been, have been phenomenal. And an airport lid is just a lid with a filter on one side and a syringe, um, self-healing injector port, so that you can, you know, use a syringe to, to inoculate your, uh, your nutritious liquid that is in the jar. But uh, I'm going with liquid culture primarily because it is cheap to make. It is incredibly fast to grow in. Um, this culture that I've got right here, I'm already ready to start selling syringes out of it. It's sitting here on the stir plate. And I inoculated it 10 days ago. And guys, this means that I'm gonna be able to get orders out so much faster. My turnaround time will be a matter of a couple of days instead of weeks using this stuff. Um, Agar is just a, a bit slow and um, I've been producing very good work on agar and had very good results but the results I'm getting with liquid culture have been just fantastically just amazingly phenomenal <laughs> just to throw in a couple of adjectives there uh, just for the ridiculousness of it but I I've just been truly amazed at how well liquid culture um, does in the la in, in the the op setting and that's why I'm moving entirely to, to liquid culture other than for like cleanup work and things like that. Another reason, uh, well, one of the big things, the reason why I'm moving from liquid culture is uh, Peter McCoy's book, Radical Mycology, props to Peter for writing what I think is, I, don't, I think it's the best mushroom manual out there to date. Uh, it's one of the more expensive ones, um, but the information is just phenomenal and his section over liquid culture really goes into the benefits and I've got to say after working with it I agree with him and I'll go over the benefits that he that he says I mean he says uh, he talks about it being cheap where you know it's not as expensive as agar you know it's it's sugar water I actually use a premix from shroom supply and it's still ridiculously cheap to use even buying it just as a premix um, and anything that I have made myself has not compared to the premix that I've gotten from Shroom Supply. So, I mean, I just, I highly recommend it. It's, my cultures are blowing up in the jars. Another reason why liquid culture works so well is that it's, it's just so time efficient. It is, it is so much more time efficient. If I'm cooking agar, I have to cook the agar up, right? 30 minutes, 15 PSI. Um, before that, I've had to measure it and throw everything together in my flasks, cook it for 30 minutes, bring it down here in front of the hood. Now I have to either A, time it just right so that the agar is cool enough for me to handle but still hot enough to pour, or B, let it sit overnight and cool in front of the hood and then heat it back up whenever I want to use it on a hot plate and then pour it. And, and that works great. I mean, that's, that's good because that makes it a little bit more convenient. Or I can make up I can fit seven quart jars in my 23 quart uh, Presto pressure cooker. I can do seven jars at a time. Those seven jars, 30 minutes, 15 psi. Bring them down to cool. Come down the next morning and inject them with whatever I want to inject them with to, to expand it. And I'm, I'm I mean, guys, I'm sitting in the lab going, wait a minute, that's all the work I got to do today. Uh, that's it. I'm done. I'm, I'm I have completed <laughs> my day. Uh, uh, my daily chores for for the eight, for what would typically be hours of agar work, and I'm able to 
inoculate, you know, in less than an hour, all the cultures that I'll need for, for a good long while. Um, another reason, uh, yet again, another reason why liquid culture is so just phenomenal is that it grows in faster than agar. Agar is a very two-dimensional surface. You know, you have, you have your one plane front to back and you have your second plane side to side, um, if you're thinking about your two dimensions there. And the mycelium grows out on, along that two-dimensional plane. When it's growing out in liquid culture and you're stirring it like this, you're tearing all that mycelium up. It's getting torn into fragments. And now every surface is growing. And so that means that a culture like this can be finished in 10 days from inoculation and ready for me to start pulling syringes and selling them and shipping them. And I'm able to pull them out as I need them. So the timing and the convenience of liquid culture just far, just far outweighs any potential risks that you run, especially if you do testing to agar plates and you're making backup jars from different sources and tracing your lines out. I mean, that, that's just like just a little bit of work on the front end has made liquid culture just, it, it, it's, I'm speechless. I don't actually know how to get it out, how excited I am about how phenomenal liquid culture has been to me. Another reason why I'm switching over to liquid culture um, is through a lot of help I've had by Lenny Rockwell, who runs Mycelium Emporium. Uh, don't forget that if you go to Mycelium Emporium, uh, that you can use code MOSSY and he gets you 10% off of all your orders. So, he has incredibly reliable liquid culture and I just asked him to help me out with the, the process and he was very kind in explaining to me everything. And I don't know if you guys know anything about the mushroom world, but it is almost, it is, it's unbearably secretive half the time. Nobody wants to help anybody out. And... I am literally begging to get people to farm in my area uh, so I can send them to markets. I mean, I used to have incredible days at markets, and I just I went to restaurants because that was what was best for me. But people can make a really good living, a killing, growing out of their basement and selling at a farmer's market, and so few people are willing to help them. In fact, I've heard of people giving outright wrong information to sabotage them, and I just don't, I don't like that kind of stuff, guys. And everything Lenny has told me to do has been correct. Um, everything has worked out phenomenally. He's helped me figure out my labeling. He's helped me figure out how to produce clean cultures. He's advised me on uh, how to use those metal lids that, I was talking about, uh, that I've talked about before. Um, those metal airport lids. He... I, I just can't talk him up enough. So you guys should absolutely check out Lenny. He's got one of the largest uh, diversity of like strains I have ever seen. And he works very diligently to make sure it's all clean for everyone. So I highly recommend him. Just don't forget to use code MOSSY. I do get a little bit of a kickback from that. Um, so you're helping this channel out, but you're also helping out a guy who is just, I mean, absolutely willing to give a um, competitor, potential competitor, the shirt off his back to help him. Um, and that speaks volumes to me. We need more people like that in the mushroom community that are willing to, to share what they know. Not every, You don't have to share everything. I don't share my best secrets. Lenny just said no, he doesn't share his best secrets. But the more people we have operating in this space, um, I've, I've learned far more. I'll put it this way. I've learned far more from people that I have helped than they ever learned from me. Yeah, I helped them get a leg up, but it was easy for me. It was information I've already learned, stuff I've already got. Um, and then these people, they explore, they experiment, they bring things back to me, and it increases my wealth of knowledge by being able to learn things from a different tack. And, uh, um, you know, I've hoped that I've been able to help Lenny with some things. I, I know that um, we've talked a, a lot on Facebook about a lot of different things. I know that I'm able to help some of you guys just from the comments that I'm reading, um, how much we've been able to help you guys with the open source stuff. A lot of you have come back to me with suggestions that have been absolutely correct. And then, you know, some of you come up with suggestions that, uh, you know, <laughs> are, are not my favorite. But that's okay. That's what a community is about. That's what I really like is this back and forth between me and you guys. And you guys and each other. I see you guys commenting on each other's comments and I love it. That's one of my favorite things in the world. And I, I just really like this network that we're building 
And, you know, again, just props to Lenny over at Mycelium Emporium. That guy, I mean, he, he's, he's taken my knowledge gap and, com like, just shrank it down to, to very considerably just, uh, just to help a guy out. So, um, you know, you guys want a large diversity of liquid cultures to purchase, I highly suggest going to him. Um, a lot of the strains that I've been breeding are going to be being released over the next few months in liquid culture form. I will only ever sell something I grow in my grow room only. That is the only things I will ever work with. Uh, I, I don't plan on having a huge culture library like a lot of people do of just wild strains and everything else. And I admire those people. I think we need those people. It's just not something that, that I do. But I will. Anything that I grow and sell to my chefs and any strains that I create and sell to my, you know, my chefs go, yeah, this strain's good. That's the kind of stuff I'll be selling on my website. You guys want anything else, go to Lenny. He is reliable, he is fast, he is economical, and this liquid culture thing is gonna, you know, it's really gonna help us change things around. My concerns over reliability were just completely diminished when I started using the pre-made uh, airport lids from Shroom Supply. I'll say that uh, I, I really appreciate the metal lids that I see a lot of people using and uh, I'm probably going to be trying out those a little bit more just to see how they really work out. But as far as I can tell, they work out great for people. It's uh, RTV silicone and uh, some people use polyfill, punch a hole in the lid and put in polyfill and some people um, use micropore tape. And I'll do a couple of experiments just to see what I like. But as of right now, the cost of the pre-made lids, while they're expensive, um, the ease of use of working with them and not having to worry about building anything myself has been, I'm always a big fan of off the shelf components. If I can just take off the shelf stuff and get huge benefits from those off the shelf components, that's what I'm gonna do every time. You'll be seeing liquid cultures pop up on the website and our agar section taken down over, over uh, the next couple of months. And the price on our liquid culture will be a good bit cheaper than what we've been doing our agar plates for simply because of the convenience that it, it's able to pass on to me, I'm able to pass on to you. Um, our turnaround time is also going to speed up drastically, so I'm really hoping to please you guys with that. I have never liked our turnaround time, so now I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, for anyone who has culture orders pending, uh, you're going to be receiving a syringe um, with your liquid, with, with liquid culture in it. All you have to do is squirt that into any plate you were planning on using it in and it'll work just the way that your agar would have. Um, but because of the cost difference, I'm going to throw some freebies into each one of those cultures for you guys just to make sure that you're getting your values worth, the money that you spent. So uh, be looking for those to go out in the next few days to a couple weeks. Um, I'm hoping to get uh, any backlog that I have left, which thankfully is being reduced uh, pretty drastically. Um, but I'm hoping to have all that cleared off before Christmas. So uh, with that, guys, uh, let's watch some B-roll and, you know, keep spawning culture.
Thanks for watching, and make sure to check out our other videos.